the media framework in Unreal Engine has gone through a pretty dramatic update in 4.18. Now this will just be a highlight to showcase some of the changes. Refer to the documentation for the rest, but for the most part, a lot of the plugins were rewritten in order to better support some advanced use cases like 360 video, stereoscopic video, 4K playback, things like that are partially in, partially supported, and will be better supported in the future. But for now, the base was rewritten and we've got some better support and better integration in the editor. The other nice stuff is we have access to new sources so we can directly grab things such as webcams, microphones, and things like that right in the editor and then work with them. So for my example here, I'm just going to go ahead and hit play and we'll see something fairly simple. I'll hit the one key and we'll get a video playing on the TV. Nothing fancy, nothing really out of the ordinary if you've ever used a media framework before. But we have a couple differences. So looking through here, you'll notice if you've ever used media framework before, we don't have an actual audio. We have a video texture, but we don't have an audio texture. Audio has been removed and replaced with an individual audio component that goes on the item. I'll cover that in a second. But for the most part, our workflow is going to be basically the same. We're going to have a media player. Our media player is where the media goes through and outputs it to a texture. Generally, that, that texture, so we can see that right here, this is our texture, has a media player assigned to it. That texture is then assigned to a material, and this is our basic material here. And then that material is applied to a surface, and you go ahead and you can watch your video. Now, a couple of the differences here is our sampler type for this. Oh, where is it at? Is it in here? Oh, did, did, where did it go? Now I'm confused. Oh, yeah. Duh. Our sample type, that's why I said the word sample, is now external for this material. And that's what it needs to be for our media player. And that gives us better, quicker, direct access to the hardware and the output without having to copy a bunch of stuff. For the most part, you don't need to worry about that. All of this is going to be handled normally. I mean, we can go in, for example, and I would do media, media player. It asked me if we want a media texture asset now. Chances are you would create one unless you're going to duplicate one. We no longer have the option for audio texture assets because we're not going to. We'll create it. We can name this to, you know, for like, for example, my second media player. It's going to create our media texture automatically. Right click on that, create the material, and we're done. Like you can see in here, it's going to be automatically defaulted to our external. Everything's set up properly. We can slap this texture onto anything we want, and it's going to work. Now, in terms of previewing, it's kind of nice because we have some quicker access to certain things. We have our normal media types that came in before. We have, for example, our platform media source, stream media source. But now we have a new image media source. The image media source is interesting because you can actually apply images in a sequence. So, for example, like your old school uh, animations for 2D where you had an explosion, which is my example here, can be applied to a media output. So here's my media player, here's my image media source, and you can see I kind of have this really silly looking explosion. But this is not a video file. This is just a sequence of images that I'm outputting to a media texture source. You can assign playlists or streams even. This is a stream coming off of the internet. You can see it's on the Unreal Engine docs page, and it's just simply pulled in as a streamed media source. In terms of using it, we'd apply it just like normal, apply it to a material and output it. So all I'm doing is I have a material on the wall. I hit my key. It tells it to open my streaming source and it plays it automatically. One advantage of this new setup is we get access to the same material and the same media player can be output into multiple places. So like, for example, I have this little tablet here. If I apply the material to that tablet and I go ahead and I hit play, You'll now see it's playing on the wall and it's playing on the tablet at the same time, all from the same material. You don't have to worry about different media sources and different materials playing back in different areas because our media players themselves play the stuff based on whatever we have associated to it. So our video here is outputting to the media player now, and then that one media player handles everything rather than having to assign a one-to-one -one like in the past system.
That's it. That's the basics of the new media framework system. Like I mentioned, though, it's undergone a large, significant update on the back end. So there will be some issues, but a lot of things have changed. A lot of things have broken. Like, again, I mentioned, there's no media sound here. Oh, I probably should have mentioned that. There's no media sound here, like I did mention, because it's part of the component in here. So if we go into here, we have a new media sound component, and the media sound component then is linked up to the media player, and it plays that output. The nice thing about that is you can actually kind of have things different. You don't have to just say, hey, play this sound. You'll notice that this has a sound playing, whereas this one has no media sound component. So our tablet has no sound, but our primary TV does have sound. And all it does is, again, points back to our media player. Where'd it go? Tidy for me. There we go. Our media player and our one media player handles synchronizing everything. So you just start and stop your one media player, and it can start and stop anything that's observing it and playing the sound, etc., etc. So that's going to be the basics. Refer to the notes. Refer to the documentation for all of the changes. There is quite a bit. But the new media framework is changed in 4. Not new media framework. The media framework has been improved, and there are new changes in 4.18. And this was just a highlight of some of them.